Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Final Fantasy Randomizer community presentation on RPG Limit Break. Tonight, the Winter Double Anti Bingo Tournament continues. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the semifinal match between co op teammates Dead Pulse and Fry Teeth. Here in the commentary booth, my name is RockSolid84, and I'm joined by Demon RHK. Demon, how hype are you for this match tonight? Oh, I'm I'm ready to go. I've been waiting for this one all week. We got our uh, our winners bracket finals going into the grand championship, the semis overall here. Um, we got two hype matches going at the same time, but this is the one I'm really looking forward to. Me too. I had this one on my calendar ever since the two of them decided they were going to pick this time Wednesday night at nine o'clock. I wrote it in there to make sure I could watch it, and I've got the privilege to be commentating it. Uh, the gate just dropped, and we're just about to see some of the hottest new Final Fantasy randomizer runners to hit this community just go wild. All right, looks like we're off. We're going to be checking magic and armor immediately here. Got ice three at level one. You can't complain with that. And with our classes here, are kind of we got some bonuses. We got some uh, malices in some cases. You know, some positives and negatives. One of those is our thieves that are two forced for both of our runners on column two and row two here. They have level one uh, black magic. So we've got ice three all over the place on these light wires. Yeah, it feels great to have that many ice three casters. Doesn't really matter that the white magic didn't give us too much. In fact, that's kind of Good news, um, since even with a red mage, you're not going to have access to half of that anyways. So they've got what they need. They're going to take that sweeper straight to Garland. I didn't see whether or not they picked up tents. I think they didn't. So they might not even check the chests in here. Yeah, just come through, put Garland on the floor, get some items, and we're going to see where we uh, where the keys leave us from here. Yeah, so with double anti-bingo, it does move pretty quickly. Um, if you're not familiar, the goal is to light up two lines on the bingo board and then complete the game, but you do get free orbs, as we see the slab from the king and the crystal from Princess Sarah. Yeah, absolutely. As you were pointing out, the way the double anti-bingo works, we've got to light up two lines, one of them forced by your opponent, one of them chosen by you, any one of them on the board. Uh, Fry Teeth has decided that Dead Pulse must do column two, while uh, Dead Pulse decided Fry Teeth must do row two, both of them focusing on that take two thieves, because nobody likes thieves. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe not two of them anyways. Uh, I've been uh, looking long and hard at the thief for the uh, spring tournament uh, coming up, but... Take a look at this. We've got Dead Pulse checking out a hint giver, uh, not getting anything, and uh, Fry Teeth decides not to. So, going to be interesting to see if hint givers end up giving us useful information that Fry Teeth doesn't have access to. Yeah, it didn't get bit on it this time, but it's one of those things where all it takes is just one good point in the right direction. You can save you a couple of minutes, and in a race like this, you know, this deep end, a couple of minutes can be everything you need. Yeah, so the crystal turns into tail at Matoya. Not exactly the thing you want to find early on in any flag set normally. And especially when you're likely to be relying on a black belt, it's not something you need. Although you'll keep it in your back pocket. We may need it, for example, uh, Fry Teeth has to confuse carry. So if confuse ends up being at level eight, it might be something that they need to promote to, to have access to. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you might have some uh, concern out there in the community uh, in here in chat. We do not have guaranteed access to spells, but tavern recruitment is on, so never fear. We can always audible at the backside if need be. Yeah, and tavern has been uh, something that's been a little bit underutilized, I think, for most of the Winter Double Anti Bingo tournament participants. I will point out that in the compensation bracket, consolation bracket, I'm sorry, one of the runners who may end up back in the finals, Gregly Puff, has been making a lot of use of those tavern strats, and it's been making a difference. I mean, Gregly Puff has been winning a lot of matches. Yeah, if you can if you can leverage it to your advantage, it's just really top tier, and you can just get a, a massive lead out with. Uh, Deadpool's finding out that Bicky's got his vanilla ship here, so we've got some access to the sea. Yep, and you like that also. A vendor herb in Provoca. I didn't catch how much it was, but it looks pretty affordable. And we've also got pro rings and gold bracelets for about four thousand and eleven thousand a piece. So a piece. So Provoca is pretty stacked. 
Yeah, pretty stacked here. One very minor note, uh, back to our bonuses and our negatives on our classes, the Red Mage will not be able to equip these Pro Rings on this seed. Yep, so that's that's definitely something that you notice. Uh, whenever the, one of those Malices is minus Pro Ring, it definitely affects your strats. Our Tracker Chanigan pointing in chat, he's doing his job, 6.2k for the Earth. That's pretty, uh, that's a pretty bargain price on it. Yeah, definitely worth it. Um, you could easily find something in a box to sell early on that will net you that. Deadpool's though, continuing on, and I wonder, it doesn't look like he's gonna check the dwarves, so he's just gonna slot that in the back of his mind and say, okay, when I come across something, I'll go back for that. Um, maybe it makes sense because there's other things to buy at Provoca, so it makes sense to come back with a fair bit of money in your pocket as Deadpool finds Fire 3 in Elfland. Yeah, you can't be unhappy with this magic. You got all three of your uh, level three elemental spells right in the first three levels. Um, while it's not nuke level, you're still got the right element for the situation for whatever you run up against. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you've got all the tools in your tool chest. And remember, Ice 3 at level 1. I mean, that's going to solve most of your problems right there in its first slot. Um, you've got Fire 3 just in case you run across Undead. Um, Deadpool's continuing to check Hint Givers. Of course, one of them just told us something we already know about Provoca. But I have to think that that's going to end up giving some good information. I didn't quite catch what the one in Provoca said. Yeah, unfortunately, I may have I missed that one as well here, but Lit 3 uh, going to be taking care of anything we run into on the sea. Ice 3 going to be taking care of pretty much everything else, and Fire 3 for Metal Slimes and Undead. Um, I think short of... The only thing I haven't seen so far is that I don't think we've seen any hide nor hair of our tempers or our fasts, and we're getting a little deep in the spell list already. Yeah, uh, level 3 white magic definitely has all the goods, though. Life 3, heal 3, ruse, and exit. Uh, just about all of the best spells you could possibly ask for, except for fade. Now, the thing is, with a red mage, you're not going to be able to cast some of those ever. I think uh, life 2 is forever out of reach. And um, if they want to keep that do not use exit tile open, they're not going to be utilizing that. So it'll be interesting to see if they prioritize that. Without having warp, you do like to have that movement spell. Yeah, something to get you out of trouble should you run across a bad encounter with a bad skill, uh, especially somewhere you have to go deep. Yep. So look at this. Um, both of them leaving the inner sea at just about the same time. I can't believe how evenly matched these runners are, but we have route divergence. Deadpool's heading into Melmond. Gonna check what the magic is, maybe do a little bit of an earth tile check, see if we can get some money in some early levels, head back to Provoca, get that herb. Fryteeth, on the other hand, is gonna go down. Uh, when you're down here, now he's turned to the left, I have no idea what is happening. Maybe Fryteeth has decided uh, to change strategies and go to Crescent. Yeah, it looks like this is uh, maybe uh, one thought at first, but I think Crescent's in that uh, key item's going to be on the... Going to take that incentive here. Uh, going to go ahead and get that, see where that leads. Probably looking for, you know, maybe I can get a canoe out of here, go straight to, or, um, you know, just somewhere else. Better to do that than go digging on at this point in time. Yeah, well, we saw a vendor, uh, sorry, a vanilla ship from Bicky, so why not a vanilla canoe from the Sages? It could happen, exactly. as we find a nice style when you've got Ice Threes. Yeah, unless those badmen rolled a little up. We'll have to see. Yeah, it looks like they've got well over 200 itch points, so if this third Ice Three doesn't do it... Okay, that's... I'm not going to say no to 2,000 XP. It's a bit... You have to work pretty hard for it, though. Yeah, it's one full round, one spell from everybody, but, you know, you're already level 9, you got some levels underneath you. Uh, enough to at least survive early and be able to get out of a really, like, if a, a one bad ambush. Yeah, and I think the money is really the other important reason to come do this now. Um, I really like this played by Deadpools. Fry Teeth finding out that we've just got a chime at Crescent, so a bit of a whammy. Of course, we are going to need that if we're going to be going into CTM at for one reason or another, but it's not very useful right now. Fry also looks like we're going to be trying to fish some encounters out. Maybe wants to grind a little bit of that money off here, maybe find some peds for some levels. Yeah, and um, I'd do it if I was thinking about possibly going into Ice Cave, which may be what Fry Teeth is doing. 
Um, when you've got randomizer and you've got out of the inner C, maybe thinking that the floater might be in there. Uh, if, if he's right, uh, you know, could pull pull ahead. I think I like the Edpulse position right now, but it's too early to say. Yeah, looks like we found four mana cores here. I'm not sure if we're on the inner or outer tile of Hall of Giants on that. I think it's the first, but I'm not 100% sure either. It looks like they've got a bit of HP too, and Glance is not fun. Uh, although, if this could work out... Oh, Deadpools didn't have the means to kill them, it looks like. Nah, not, not with that many people glanced off. Now, normally, you know, just, uh, carting some statues around is really good for getting experience on your other Light Warriors, because you, then you can just pop that soft potion whenever you need an extra body to, to uh, fill in. Yeah, so Fry Teeth giving us our first look at some tavern strats, but unfortunately he found the Thief Tavern. Don't need any more of those, we've already got two. Yeah, we're good on that, thanks. <laughs> so Deadpools, uh, with uh, pockets full of money, is headed back to Provoca. And, I mean, the biggest thing that's going to come out of this is the herb. But we also did see 4K Pro Rings, which are really good for turning aside some of those early, um, you know, instant death spells. I don't think Dead Pulse will have enough for the gold bracelets, but just one Pro Ring and an herb, that's pretty good stuff to have this early on. Yeah, you can keep at least one of your Light Warriors safe, um, get your herb. Hopefully that's going to be your big money ticket, your big ticket item going to turn into a canoe. Or even a floater, even if we are still looking for the canoe, we'll at least have half the puzzle getting in the air. Oh, for sure. Um, Dead Pulse prioritizing houses over... Oh, checking to see how much they were. But yeah, prioritizing houses over pro rings and gold bracelets. That's interesting. I don't know why you wouldn't buy it unless you're keeping that money over for magic, maybe? I can see it because you... it feels bad if you come across that one spell but it rolled super high and it's like, oh, you want this... Uh... You want this really nice fast spell for 11k this early? Oh, sorry about your luck. Yeah, good point. We have seen um, all of the low-level magic shops, so at this point, you're probably looking at 11k at least for a spell, depending on where it landed and how it rolled. Um, Chanigan making some points in chat. I want to uh, just shout out quickly here. The um, mana cores that we saw were on the inner tile, not on the outer tile of Earth. And a gold bracelet rolled minus five. That might be why Ted, another reason why Deadpool's avoided it, um, because it there could be better armor out there. And sure enough, our herb turns into the floater. So we have half of the uh, the getting in the air puzzle here. Now we're just on the hunt for the canoe. Okay, well you called it, Demon. Well, well done. And uh, yeah, the canoe. If I had to wager on the canoe, well we know it can't be an ice cave. And we haven't seen the ruby yet. So what does that leave that we haven't seen? Or ordeals can't get to that. Waterfall cave can't get to that unless... No, that's that's gated. What am I missing? We should be able to figure this out. Marsh cave? Is that incentivized? I believe it's just the fiend dungeons here, if I'm not mistaken, which uh, I believe they could dive into Earth. Earth, yeah. It has to be Earth on the first two floors of Earth. No, 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 no. We're gonna cut. We're. Well, I say we curse them here. They're gonna dive in. They're gonna dive in there. They're gonna go down, and they're gonna find a cube. Oh, Chanigan pointing out that we may have the desert dock on, and it looks like that's where Dead Pulse is hiding. Oh yes, if we do have the the Ryukan Desert tile um uh, dock open, then that is absolutely. Oh yeah, so we do have the desert dock on them. Our bad on that, guys. Uh, air puzzle's over. Congratulations, we're in the air. Everybody in the air. Fourteen minutes. <laughs> yep, everybody into the airship. Uh, so dead pulse. Now with that money, is going to go take a look and hoping to see nuke doesn't. Uh, that would be my guess. Uh, or warp, I suppose, would be the other big pickup at this point. Yeah, gonna go ahead and pick up his chime out of crescent here. Now even with the airship we are still a little limited in some of our locations due to not having that uh canoe we still have the waterfall on rack area uh locked out to us here we still have um ordeals locked out to us it is pretty much going to be ice or volcano it looks like uh, dead pulse is immediately going to be heading over to volcano here 
Yeah, and Sarda would be another option, wouldn't it? Because we can fly straight to him. Yeah, we can fly behind Titans, go get a look at Sarda here. Uh, we're gonna, but you got to get in here, loot the treasury out, a lot of items, get a couple trap tile check. That is not one of them you want to see. Yeah, not unless you've got the kill X different zombie tile, and I don't believe we've got that on the board, so they're just going to move on. Dead Pulse is going to loot the armory. Let's see if we get some good stuff. And look at this, Fry Teeth right behind him into the airship. So, you know, if you thought that Fry Teeth was was behind, he's not. He's right He's right there with Dead Pulse in this race. Yep, going to be dipping up here. Going to be stopping by the corner area first real quick. Going to ice three out some peeds, get us some extra experience up here on Dead Pulse. And the peas looked like they were actually that trap tile, so not terrible, but maybe not what you're looking for as a whole here. You want something a little bit better. Especially with Deadpools having already a decent amount of XP off of the that Badman tile from Earth. Yeah, that definitely helped um, to get some, some, even just a little bit of early experience. Fry Teeth getting the slab translated. Uh... Chanigan is saying that the fairy had the key. I didn't realize one of them already had the bottle and went to Gaia, though. Yeah, that's a really good pickup, uh, opening up some extra things. Oh, it looks like we are examining furniture here, so we're going to be going for that examine the furniture tile uh, in the very bottom right of your bingo board. Uh, meanwhile, Fryteeth translating the slab, which is going to lock them out of both row three and column one of intentionally getting looped and without translating before actually get, uh, turning it in. Yeah, and that's an interesting play as they pick up a mass beam from Sarda. That's nice. Plus five as well. Jeez, that's a, that's a good sword. Um, yeah. But yeah, coming back to that bingo board, um, column one, okay, well, you know, neither of them have anything laid on that anyway. Um, the other one, though, row three, I guess, yeah, with use only cursed armor there, if they equip that Mazamune, they're already out of that one, so, yeah, it doesn't really, you're, you're not, you're not taking away any options from yourself, really, by loop, by getting the slap translated. Yeah, and like you see lit up here by Dead Pulse, uh, having already seen a fire, uh, skill, get checking all of the furniture already having the the two thieves in the party it's a pretty it, it's already most of the way done on your top left bottom right and it's just a matter of collecting armor and the level 40 well let, let's be realistic both of our runners have a black belt that's where the end game is going to be and we all know that the, that the two magic numbers are 32 and more specifically 42 on your black belt yeah of course um 32 and 42 both being hit break points um where the the hit count goes up uh, in terms of offense and then the other notable thing about that is that level 42 if you go all the way to 42 before you promote your black belt is basically going to have a ribbon built onto his uh mdf yeah you go it Go to 42 if you have to promote, promote on the after side of that, and then you're you, you basically free ribbon because the, your M defense is just so ridiculously high. Yep, and, and we love to see the black belt, um, you know, just storming through Topher and turning uh, the fiends into fine mist. Fry Teeth is in Earth, Dead Pulse is in Ice Cave, so they're in different places, and I think we're about to get some more information because Fry Teeth can find the Earth incentive here, and we haven't seen the Ice Cave item yet either, but Dead Pulse does take a wipe. Yeah, unfortunately, was thinking, I think, for a moment here, okay, these ghosts I need to kill anyway, but there was a lot of them, and they hit hard. Yeah, as ghosts are wont to do, oh no, wizards with stone poison, and you see them a lot on that first floor of ice. Yeah, we, oh, and there's a seven pack. And that's a wiped, stoned out party. Yeah, now this is why, and this is an easy thing to say when something like that happens, but this is why I do not like going to ice early. And Dead Pulse, I mean, arguably has levels un under normal circumstances. If you're going in in the teens, you've got enough if you've got some good um, offensive magic. But just as it turned out with the skills um, and the enemies, uh, Deadpool's deciding that discretion is a better part of Valor and probably isn't going to end up losing too much time to this decision. I like the play. Yeah. In the meantime, Fry Teeth, probably a little on the aggravated side, has drug a cube out from behind Vampire and Earth. 
Oh, gross. That's almost a reset. Uh, unless he found something else that he wants to keep or wants to experience. I don't know why you wouldn't just master that reset button right there. Well, probably because I think if short of the slab being the progression, I think it's the can it's the the leading to leading to the canoe has to be either the slab translation at this point or it's in sky. Can you imagine a canoe in sky? I don't think I've ever seen that. That is gross. But yeah, that you could get that with Northern Docks being on. All right, fry teeth out. Gonna check Sarda here. Probably gonna check some furniture. We'll see if we're gonna be going that route. Eh, let's think about it for a second. Oh, yep, we're checking furniture. Yep, so both of them probably thinking in the same thing in terms of that top left to bottom right is their optional line. Dead Pulse, finding not much in the Agama room. Still looks like he's opening boxes. Maybe we're going to have a vanilla incentive volcano here. Yeah, we're gonna, probably going to be vanilla in here, and we're also going to get one more trap tile look. <laughs> Shout out to a genie problem in chat saying a canoe in the sky is basically the French Canadian legend of uh, Chasse Galerie. So I am not familiar with that uh, French Canadian legend, but I will definitely look it up. And her trap tile is rock goals. Probably not the most ideal thing, but it is something. Oh, uh, yeah, actually. I mean, you don't really want to see it right now. Oh, they're rock goals, not iron goals. I was thinking, wow, that's a lot of XP. But no, it's um, it's not the best. Oh, no. Oh, no. And we have two lightwares on the floor, and we are gone. And Dead Pulse is just going to head out from Volcano and be like, nope, we're not doing that. Yeah, and uh, another reference in chat, our restreamer, uh, Demon Frog, pointing out that going to Sky at this point and looking for the canoe is even worse if you don't have, you know, break, you don't have high levels, and you can't even finish the boss. You just have to go there to get the canoe to go somewhere else. That is, and not having exit or warp. Wow, luck is not with these runners. We're definitely putting them through their bases on this particular seat. Who rolled this? Yeah, right? All right, so it looks like we run into a uh, wolf werewolf tile. The wolves have heal three, so that's just a lot of time wasted getting away from this trap tile. Yeah, it's basically just a huge time waster. Uh, we're going to see the item. Actually, did Fry Teeth not check the... I think I'm so used to spring tournament flags that I'm used to the shuffled incentive, but I don't think the incentive is actually shuffled on this particular black set. That is correct. There is no shuffled incentives here, so we have to go the long way around with no warp available to us. Dead Pulse, meanwhile, has re uh, trekked back to Earth, and we're going to continue to grind out here a little bit, get some more levels so that we don't have any worries uh, going forward from here. Maybe going to get a couple more levels here so that our Black Belt can survive and maybe go back to those rock goals? Yeah, um, uh, yeah I'm not sure, but uh, this... I like this two-man strats, though, on, on this particular party, because you can continue to sweep them down, um, and you'll get levels where you really need them, which is on your black belt. So ice turns out to be the oxyl. We now have access to C should we need it, but unfortunately we don't have access to C. We do have access to C through the oxyl, but we don't because we can't get to Onrak. Yeah, uh, the airship where it lands, uh, you have to cross a river to get in there. So that's kind of good news, though, because it does mean that at least the canoe can't be in C. Well, actually, if the northern docks are on, can they get there on the northern dock? That would be so trolly. Can you imagine putting the airship back down, getting in the sea? Because I think the northern dock is on the other side of that river. You can actually walk there. Yeah, that would that would just be the worst. I mean, I think that's worse than having to go to Sky at this point. Yeah, especially if you loot Sky first and it's not there. Oh, that would be so bad. Oh, we got some seafood here on an Earth as well. I had missed that the first time around.
Yeah, so fry teeth is going to do something that I often do when I'm a little bit tilted and uh, feeling like I'm behind. It, it looked like fry teeth was going for a uh, first floor ice cave grind. Sometimes you have to do that when you don't have a good tile. I think that's what fry teeth is doing. Yeah, taking a look here. Uh, although, again, going back, we got the ice three casts. Um, the the earth, the badman tile, and the nightmare is probably your best bet at this point. Um, we know the key, thanks to a hint and crescent, is locked behind the fit, the bottle, but we don't have the bottle yet, so that's going to keep an extra what three tiles locked out from us. Yeah, and it looks like you were right about um, staying on the nightmares for a bit and then switching over to mana cores. Ultimately, it'll be the black belt just punching them down, and it looks like we're there already. Oh, I don't think we're going to be. Oh no, we are back. We are punching. I was gonna say. I think we thought we were gonna be slicing things up with a Maza five for a little while. Still. So. Well, you're actually right. It does look like he's still swinging that Maza. All right. Yep. Gonna go out, save, come back in, grind off some mana cores here. Gets a nice uh, first. Uh, in First strike on him, getting a couple of these down. Uh, not going to get an amazing amount of levels on this, but going to get enough to at least survive for the time being here up to 22. Uh, what do you think? Take this to 24, because I think you get a hit there as well, and you should be okay for the time being. Yeah, 100% 24. If it was me, I'd probably just hang in there and go to 32, because that's, that's my skill level. Somebody at Dead Pulse's skill level, I wouldn't be surprised if he stopped at 24 and, and then just moved on. Right, he runs into a dinosaur. Uh, team Steak, uh, shout out on the way down here to turn in the slab. Yeah, definitely. Um, and uh, Steak, Overworld Grinds is another thing that you might check for in a situation like this. Because you might get the Steak and Wings or a Blue Steak off the power cycle in one of these zones up here. Um, be interesting to see if Fry Teeth checks for that before leaving this area. Yeah, you... you... I like to do that. Uh, one of the few times, land land in the desert, run around the desert real quick off the power cycle. Canoe from the slab. That is a nice pickup and, you know, saving you a dive into sky at all, hopefully, with this. Uh, also going to peak level 8. It's Zap. Thankfully, it's not Quake. Yeah, this is some important progression for Fry Teeth. So Fry Teeth doesn't have levels that Dead Pulse does. So it looked like Dead Pulse had solid command of the lead, but now here we are. Fry Teeth has got an item that Dead Pulse doesn't. Now, Dead Pulse did just translate his lab right now. So maybe Dead Pulse is headed straight there, in which case that lead evaporates. Absolutely true. However, Fry Teeth, while a little lower level has more average levels across the party here whereas dead pulse has had both of these thieves danned off for just about the entire c they're probably still i think sub 10 yeah i don't see that as a big disadvantage though i mean dead pulse can just two man strap from this point forward i i don't think the thieves have to be alive in order to count towards take two thieves incentive but thieves also blue steak shout out yeah, no, and <laughs> let, let, let's not forget the Thieves do have that Ice 3. Um, this blue st stake going down fairly easily, uh, that's 4,000 experience, and if it was Power Cycle, Fry Teeth may get some levels here. I think, uh, oh, is it Power Cycle? Is it really? Shout out to Power Cycle Blue Stakes. All right, here we go. So Fry Teeth have found something. Uh, even better, perhaps, than what Dead Pulse was using because it's 4k a shot and it's just one enemy. So uh, the Black Belt, and it's in a very safe spot. You can just save on the overworld anytime you like. Yeah, and again, you know, the Thieves, while they are, you know, sucking experience up, until the Black Belt can get levels, it is still not now one round because you have three Ice Threes plus the Swing. It's just stacking up enough. I think these Blue Stakes seem to be in about the 550 range. Yeah, well, if Fry Teeth can get up to the point where that Mazamune... Yeah, I mean, two swings. I would say even now you could damn the rest of them. And uh, 16k a pop straight into your black belt. Yeah, that would put you... Uh, you could do that right now, hit your 42, and then just basically... Okay, time to check off some bingo blocks and then go for Tover. Yeah, Dead Pulse deciding... Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, Fry Teeth deciding not to, though. Maybe doesn't have the save items. That could be the issue there. 
it's possible. Uh, the other option is maybe deciding, okay, I'm going to put that on the back burner and come down to it because with especially hitting so hard with a massa here, it get with against one enemy, it gets hard to dan your party off. You know, dip into volcano real quick, have a dance party on the floor with some disco tiles, and then come back. Oh yeah, no, that's um that's a favorite of mine. Go into combine well, especially in again, I keep going back to spring tournament flags, but in a situation where you have to light the orb, it's great to go there, um, get everybody low with the the fire and then have Carrie finish some of them off. In this case you could just do as you say, do the dance party and any trash enemy will do the rest. Also, uh Demon Frog pointing out in chat, Friday Teeth Hal has just got some extremely bad news. Confuse rolled level eight. Yeah, and that, that is terrible news for a couple of reasons. First of all, it means you don't have very many casts. They've both only got one Black Mage. You get one cast of level 8 magic at level 25, two at 26, and then your third at uh, 28, I believe, maybe a fourth at 30. And, perhaps even worse, you have to promote. So that means that you're not going to be doing that confusing of carry until after your grind, ideally, because you want to make sure that your black belt has the end def. Yeah, absolutely. And the other key is that, you know, if you think maybe I'll be cheeky, the treasures have been randomized. So unfortunately, the confuse stick is not guaranteed. So you pretty much have to eventually promote and take that route for the confuse. Oh, yeah. I mean, even in, in, in regular circumstances, there's that's just one item in the game. In this case, it might not even be around. So, yeah, I agree that that's not something you want to have to rely on. Fry Teeth going up and saving in the lake north of uh, the waterfall. I know that's on here somewhere. Oh, uh, there it yes. is. Yes, right, right there, uh, column four and row two. Right there on his bingo row. Uh, unfortunately, the the middle to, uh, the middle square there is going to be the hard one, but at least is getting the rest of these knocked out of the way. Yeah, definitely getting a tile on your required row always nice. As Dead Pulse picks up the TNT in ordeals, we'll have to see what the explosives turn into. Uh, still just missing a couple of items here. I think we still have not seen any musical instruments. We haven't seen a bottle, which we know is required for key. Yep, um, there's a dud in the form of Ruby. Except that Titans is incentivized, so the Ruby could still turn into something, actually. It's not a complete dud. Alright, we have... we have worms. Is this a trap tile? This is a... this is, I believe, a trap tile in Waterfall. Okay, I believe this is number one on Fizzle's list of, um... Trap tiles. Um, it's definitely up there if it's not number one because I think it's the most experience you can get from a single fight in the game. Yes, the, the only concern I have about this is Worms hit still do hit like a truck. Yeah, so that's why they might not be right at the top of the list. They're not as easy to kill as uh, four zombie dragons or uh, some of the other ones in three eye grind. But it looks like Fry Teeth is enough to get through and is going to come home with uh, 24k or so each. Yeah, 20,000 each. Yeah, unfortunately, unless we're stocked... Well, we're stocked up on heal potions. It looks like we're actually going to heal up the, the Thief 2 here. I think... Yeah. Did, uh, are we going to move the Master to the Thief and just two-man this for a little bit? And just, Because at this point, 20, you might... Oh, I don't think so. That's high enough still, too to try to take these sub uh, without a uh, weapon. Get the Amethyst, which is one of our fun percent flags where you can rename the Ruby. Yeah, so Fry Teeth looks like, um, I would say just deciding to not get greedy with the worms, maybe afraid they're gonna lose the grind, doesn't have warp or exit, still has to walk it out. Um, I mean, I yeah, I would have liked to try and get some more some more of that worm goodness but i can understand uh the concern yeah it get the items out you can always come back if you need to get the levels it's waterfall is one of those it takes time but it's not the worst it's not like this is bottom of ice or you know red d tile and volcano yeah fair enough um so okay so dead pulse now 
getting the rod from the TNT turn in, that's not necessarily required. Um, be, well, it, uh, because uh, there, there are some Lich um, incentives there on the board. I believe, well, actually, yeah, it is required because I believe that Lich 1 means Lich's floor. Yes, yeah, so the, for Dead Pulse, that is a great find. That is going to be a required item for Dead Pulse because he, he does have to go down to Earth B5 and take a nice little uh, stroll around all the different rooms down there and admire the architecture. Yeah, okay, right. So so I'm, I'm sorry. I was I was starting to say that I didn't think it required because I saw the other tile, which says defeat Lich with Quake. You don't have to have... You don't have to actually defeat Lich 1 with Quake. So for that one, you could actually take care of that one in Temple of Fiends Revisited. But yeah, since there is the the visit every room on Lich 1, that's a required item and a great pickup for Dead Pulse. Yeah, I'm going to get that out of the way. I do believe that we had a, a, a mention in chat as well here that uh, Quake rolled at level 4. So if we can get down there and Quake him as well, take out two uh, in just one go here, it's just going to be nice overall. Uh, we've got Fry Teeth going to go down and get rid of Kraken 1, it looks like. Yeah, so Fry Teeth, of course, in green here, is required to defeat Kraken 1. Doesn't have to use any spells to do so, thankfully. Um, and I haven't gotten a look at the Black Belt recently. That's not a lot of HP. I, I don't know if I'd feel super confident in taking on Kraken at this level, would you? It's... Ooh, it depends on how Kraken roll, but I'd be a little leery here because one high hit punch here or a lot of hit percent on the Kraken and you could be on the floor. Yeah, um... So it looks like Fry Teeth is trying to just do a grind on the sea for itself, maybe hoping to pick up some Gur Sharks as Dead Pulse knocks down the vampire. Yeah, I don't know if Fry Teeth checked out some of the other trap tiles on the floor here. Uh, just kind of fishing a party pack, trying to probably find some big eye uh, Gur Shark um, encounters. Yeah, the, the Gur Shark big eye uh, one is, I think, the. Uh, you know, the one you really want to find. Uh, Fry Teeth did take a look at the Sharknado tile. I forget what it was, but it couldn't have been anything good or it'd still be there. Uh, it was all um, the hot wings. Oh, yes. That's right. Oh my, those are Ghosts with Bane. And that is a wipe. Fry Teeth getting the bad news that ghosts are not to be messed with. So Dead Pulse and Fry Teeth have now each taken a costly wipe to ghosts. I would say that Fry Teeth has lost a little bit more to that because there was a little bit of grinding that happened before those ghosts came along. Fry Teeth deciding, yeah, let's not try Kraken at these levels, heading down to take a look at the Titan incentive, and I don't think we've seen this yet. No, uh, unfortunately, Dead Pulse has not been into uh, Waterfall. They will be very happy to get in there because one of their two required worms is in there in the form of the Trap Tile. Uh, but at this point, this is going to be new territory here. We're hoping for probably a bottle. And it's a dud. It's a lot of gold, but it is a dud. Yeah, Fry T3 setting out of that. A little bit of hesitation here. This seed has definitely been throwing a lot of adversity at these two runners. This has not been an easy seed. So Fry Teeth now trying to decide where to go next. And I have no idea where he's flying. I, I don't know the map as well as Fry Teeth does. It looks like he's going to park and go back into Sky. Uh, Sky or the T-Rexes. Oh, yes, those T-Rexes that we were talking about. Look at him, he's going. He's looking for some blue steak. Yeah, uh, with these two up, this is actually not bad at all because you'll be able to take him out in just a couple of hits with the Black Belt. And probably here in a couple of levels. Yeah, 8K apiece. Probably switch that thief up to the top, uh, get rid of him. Yeah, oh no, and... we're gonna we're gonna go uh, two man strats. We're gonna go uh, punching and sorting. Yeah, I wonder if Fry Teeth is thinking about um, yeah, keeping that ninja up as a damage dealer. I mean, especially if you promote, you find some good armor. I mean, it could happen. Uh, meanwhile, Dead Pulse visiting all the rooms on Lich's floor, as well as serving Lich some delicious, delicious birthday cake, and that is all she wrote. Yeah, so Lich is quaked. Um, De Demon Frog pointing out that the Thief uh, did get the Black Mage strength. So that's going to be a little bit weaker, but I don't think it's going to affect a Maza plus 5 too much. 
but I'm not super familiar with how strength works. Yeah, uh, you can be as weak as possible when you're holding a bazooka like the Massa 5. It's still going to wreck things. Yeah, and the other thing, too, is they ha there's no shortage now of really high-experience tiles. I mean, you when you've got access to the four worm tiles, you don't have to solo to get up to level 42. You can keep two people alive, and you're still getting 20k a pop, at least. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, and it's just super short work. I mean, there is, there is a... Uh, definitely the high experience tiles here uh there's also a couple tiles we haven't checked uh the but again with the way that this is playing out there are places you really don't want to go i mean fry teeth while having to go into sky to kill uh or no excuse me uh i was that's kraken one not tia one my apologies but you don't want to have to go up three floors of mirage anyway with no uh, exit in the warp <laughs> Yeah, killing these in one round now. This is now a super fast grind. We're getting some decent levels. I think we saw, I saw 26 flash by just very shortly. Okay. So um, if it's you, do you uh, get the thief up to 30 or 28 looks like actually? I think that's a break point for the Maza. Um, and then knock the thief down and let the black belt take the rest? I probably keep the thief up here until the black belt gets to 32, just to get that extra hit and make sure that the that the black belt's one rounding this. Either that, or I run them both up to 32, and then I go back to the worms. Okay, so fry teeth is going to take a little bit of time here. Then on that T Rex, get that done. Deadpool's finding another uh, potentially high XP tile, but a difficult one as those red ankles are hitting like trucks. And we see yet another wipe, and once again, it's in Ice Cave. Yeah, Ice Cave has been absolutely lethal to both of these runners here. Yeah. Demon Frog making a good point in chat. Uh, we do have Tavern enabled, so another reason to keep the Thief up is because you can load up on levels, switch it over to a Black Mage, and then you'll have all those level 8 casts. Switch it over to a Black Mage, switch it over to maybe a Black Belt later, and then just two Black Belt and punch everything to death, Double Dragon style? Oh, I didn't even think of that. Bimmy and Jimmy strats, I like it. All right, Deadpool's wanting nothing more to do with that red and kilo tile. Is going to leave that part of ice completely alone. Uh, Fright Teeth headed up, and our trap tile is... Uh, we're, oh, those are unrunnable. Thankfully, at level 30, not a huge concern. It's just a time waste. Yeah, no, four, four Earths for, for these two giants. I mean, we got Donatello and Leonardo here with the with the, with the martial arts going on. Thirty-one, almost up to that next head on the black belt. Yeah, Frighty should hit that before he sees Tiamat. Uh, Tiamat shouldn't be any trouble for these two. And um, yeah, I don't think we've seen the sky incentive. I'm checking to see. Actually, maybe it isn't even incentivized. I think it was just C that wasn't of the. Yeah, so we haven't seen sky. Frighty is going to give us a look at this now. Yeah, so our big outstanding here. Uh right off hand is going to be the key which is led from the bottle so that's what i would probably say we're wanting to see here i think it has to be or it's the adamant which is going to lead us to something because fetch quests yes of course uh we also still haven't seen the loot so that's out there somewhere and probably i know we have corneria lock still open so i think that the key is going to be our last unlock that kind of opens up the rest of this yeah, good, good, good theories, definitely for sure. So Dead Pulse now taking out a blue dragon. I don't know if this is a trap tile or just a random encounter. Just a random encounter. Dead Pulse is probably not going to spend too much time up here in Sky, but I think doesn't have quite the same level of levels as Frighty does. I, I lost track of that. Uh, yeah, Dead Pulse I don't think has the levels that Frighty has at this point, just because of taking a few of these unfortunate wipes outs. Yeah, wow, talk about a race in which the lead just keeps swinging back and forth. It's so hard to tell, as both of these runners are at a really high level and they're dealing with such a difficult seed. We see them now taking out Tiamat, Fryteeth is, and Deadpulse not far behind. 
Though I don't know why. Is that going to be one of our required tiles here? Okay, we're down to just a mass of swinging. Oh, lord. Whew. That was a little close for comfort. Yeah, and Fryteeth may have just been taking the shortest path out um, after digging out the uh, item. I keep forgetting that we don't have access to warp or exit. This is such a, a luxury that you normally have, and uh, they don't. Yeah, just not able to... Just not able to get out of quick, so sometimes the fastest way out is through the feint. Yep. Um, now here we're going to see, do we get a switch over to a black mage? They are at Corneria, and there it is. Fryteeth has changed his black belt, it looks like, over to... No, he changed the, the high-level thief over to what is now high-level black mage. Yep, switch that thief over to a black mage. That way you're going to be able to get your promotion and then get them over. Are we promoting now? Looks like it. Frighty did not get to 42 yet. Did not even get to level 40 or else that tile would be lit. I think he's down around 32. He's 31 on the black belt and 32 on the black wizard. Now, here's the thing. It's not exactly like you're throwing you're completely throwing away the utility of your black belt by promoting at this point because you do have a lot of the MDEF already and you're still going to get the offensive power from leveling up later. So this could just be the play that Frighteeth is saying, yeah, I'm not as worried about keeping that black belt alive in Topher as I am about well, getting there and getting this game over with at this point. Although with the access to grinds that Frighteeth has, I don't know why you wouldn't. Yeah, I really... Oh dear. Oh dear. Did we forget to... Oh no. Yeah, um, we've all done that. Um, you know, you resurrect everybody, but you forget that you didn't go to the inn. And uh, Frighteeth looks like hasn't lost a whole lot of time to it but it's got to feel bad when you know you're up against somebody who's so fast yeah uh back to no, no longer has that black mage uh gonna go promote here get that out of the way Could probably go switch out for a black wizard uh and then just go back along this path uh meanwhile dead pulse going out uh, again same way fastest way out is through the fiend here uh we are fighting we just got the blizzard out from tia we got a blaze from Tia. Oh dear. Oh dear. We are punching. We are punching. We are praying. That is thunder as well. So what is that? Blizzard, Inferno, Thunder, back to back to back? That is not a pretty fiend. Oh man. And this just keeps getting more and more interesting. So I was just looking at the dead the, the bingo board and thinking, okay, well, dead pulse has got four or five. Of his required tiles lit they've both got the same amount of progress on their second one so dead pulse is in the lead right has to feel like he's in the lead right well if then he wipes and loses a bunch more time so you know it's uh in having to adjust having to switch and go to another shrine this is the sort of thing that's got to make you feel like you're behind oh absolutely so fry teeth with uh, freshly promoted here is going to switch out for Red Mage. Or just resurrecting, actually. Yeah, so um, Frighteeth did pick up level 7 Brack, or maybe that was Dead Pulse, I forget, but I think it was in Onrak, whoever it was. And that's going to be useful for taking care of Kraken. Um, nice to have that as an as an option. Yeah, Frighteeth now finally finding the uh, the Gur Sharks now that we no longer need them. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, uh, Frighteeth's levels are in pretty good shape here. He's got a ninja in front, which helps for um, surprise bonuses on the fights. Pretty good position to be in, probably. I. I Jeez, I can't, I can't say who I like better. Do, do I like having the levels, or do I like having more tiles lit up? 
Uh, I personally like having... It depends on if you have the knowledge. Like, now, Dead Pulse has the knowledge of the grind. So, at this point, I think Dead Pulse is in a good position as long as we can get the grind going. Yeah, and that's sometimes easier said than done uh, when you're going up against worms. Although, these worms are not hitting that hard, and they do have Stinger, which is a bit of a waste of a turn. So, Dead Pulse should be okay here. Yes, however, Stinger is great because we have two Poison Light Warriors now. And we're sitting along a wall, and uh, and one of the interesting things about Final Fantasy, if you're along the bottom wall of a, the inside of a room, you don't get an encounter. So we can just run back and forth for a good 30 seconds and just kill off our Light Warriors if we feel like it. Yeah, now this is a mechanic that I never checked, but do you know if running on a tile that's not an encounter tile still causes poison damage to proc? I bet it does, because you get the sound. But I've never actually looked into it. Uh, I do believe so, yeah, because I believe you can just run uh, back and forth here and just uh, soak the poison damage up. Although it looks like we didn't quite uh, decide to keep the poison going. We, it looks like we just wanted the bodies instead. Yeah, going for safety, uh, which it's not like you've... With, with, with these four worms, you've kind of got the luxury of just tossing the experience around you'll get a level you'll get a level it's fine you know there's there's lots to share yeah just uh aoing down with these ice threes so we don't hit the hardest as of yet yeah i'm holding my breath a little bit here now because it's one on one and we should be able to out damage them yeah, we have enough. I think we have enough damage on from all the ice threes that. Oh, we might have spoke too soon. We need turn order. We need turn one. order. We need turn order. Oh no, we didn't do enough damage. Oh, that's rough. Oh, that hurts. Dead pulse loses part of his grind. Fry teeth does take out Kraken though. Does light up the tiles and look at this. This is what I was talking about. Catching up on the tiles. All Fry teeth has to do is successfully confuse carry and he'll join Dead Pulse in having his first required line done. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, though, so, Dead Pulse well, has the first line done here, but is a little behind in levels. Still needs to clean up and get that second uh, line done too here. Probably going to be, of course, as it looks like uh, from what we see top left, bottom right, which means we're just looking to grab that armor and then get our grind done. Uh, meanwhile, Frighty does a little bit of an uphill battle here, mostly due to confusing carry, uh, and we'll have to see if going to take that uh, top left, bottom right as well. Yeah, so going with just the one black mage, the ninjas might actually have access to Quake since it was at level 4. Yes, mm -hmm. and the demon correcting me here, actually, uh, we're going to have column 3 on the table, it looks like. So that is going to be mostly for Fry Teeth here. Once we get the confusion on carry down, uh, we just need, can also grab armor and go from there. Yeah, although, you know, it's not like you don't want to have a level 40 character going into Topher, though, right? <laughs> right. I mean, it's, having the level 40 character is always good, but we'll just have to see. It's six, one, half a dozen of the other at this point. I probably, I mean, at this point with a worm tile, if your black belt's high enough, hey, there's the bottle for our key. It was on the kindly old king. Yeah, so you're probably right about this whole bottle leading to key, leading to loot chain. Uh, that's something that they're going to need to have to finish the game, so it's not going to be a waste of time. Yeah, and seeing the worms, uh, I don't think that we're even going to bother checking any of the other locked out, even the easily accessible locked out grind tiles, just for the sole fact that, you know, there's... It doesn't take too long to get to, but we've got the worms. I mean, unless you somehow stumble across the three eyes. Yeah. Um, so Fry Teeth now in um, Gaia. Going to check the bottle. And going to check the magic first. Dead Pulse is heading out of the sea area. Dead Pulse has his first line done. Just has to hit level 40. Just has to get that armor. So... But Deadpool seems to have a hard time keeping his Light Warriors alive, doesn't he? Yeah, just got the one alive, but had a lot of hit points up. Oh my lord, that was thunder. Well, at least we saved when we left. Yeah, both runners have more than enough reason to be on full tilt. 
right now, uh, but they're gamely hanging in there and playing. Fry Teeth giving us a look at this item, and surprising nobody, it's the key. Yep, so that's going to lead to our probably our last incentive here, which is going to be in Quinaria Lock, which should be our loot. Yeah, this has definitely been, this has been an, an absolute test of, it's just been a test of wills. This has just been perseverance by both of our runners. It's been one step forward, two steps back the entire seed. It's like, I found my progression, and I'm dead. I found more progression, and I'm dead. Yeah, um, definitely. So, Frytees is back. We're finally going to see some purchases of those pro rings and go, oh no, he's actually here for the steel armor. Yep, looks like we're lighting up the uh, the steel armor here, so we're gonna go column three strats on fry teeth. Yeah, and that's that's well, it could still be top left to bottom right as well. That's uh, required for both of those lines. But since he has to confuse carry anyways, yeah, that's yeah. The that's question is, do you do you want to go in and try to for it? low 30s i mean you've got low 30 on two light warriors you can just basically two man melee you'll have a ninja swinging a massa you'll have a black belt swinging pretty hard here uh should be able to get through unless something rolled extremely nasty yeah i think i might i might try it but then here's the thing it is bingo right so you know where dead pulse is and isn't and you know that you have time to grind some more if you hit that go mode first so I think for that reason, Fry Teeth will go for some more levels. Very possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I was correct. There is a dud in Corneria Lock. We have never seen the Volcano Incentive because the only person that got down here, which I believe was Dead Pulse, died on the trap tile. Yeah, I, I remember uh, I remember someone getting into that room, but I forget what was there. Fry Teeth is taking an unusual route through Volcano. I didn't know you could go left first before you went down. I know that's a really small thing, but uh, you learn something new every day. Uh, might have been considering the hint NPC for half a second there and then deciding against it. I didn't know about that hint NPC either. <laughs> so yeah, it, it, yeah, there's a there's a hint NPC on a dead end in that floor. It's absolutely annoying to get to and nobody likes it. Yep, so, okay, yeah, Frighty heading back to get that loot. Um, seems to be making a beeline for Topher. Might as well give it one try. I, I I completely like it here. Oh, it was the Rock Goals, and they were just, he was just a little too low level in the Black Belt last time. And there is our flute in this case for our multi instrumentalist uh, the fun for Sent Flag. Yep, so Frighty going to go through carry on the way out has to get past a couple of cremating ghosts or, or whatever they are geists um it's it's amazing that they're both still struggling with some of these random encounters i mean oh yeah it, they have the levels but when you have seven when you have seven zombies casting cremate at you and at least they're on flavor for being in volcano true true yeah that's uh, definitely on theme so dead pulse is uh dealing with another pack of these unrunnable earths and uh, seems to be in Sky. Yeah, uh, I think it's coming back up here to dig out the Adamant again, simply because they died the last time up here to Tiamat. Okay, right. So that means that Dead Pulse doesn't know what the Adamant turns into. We do. We know that the Smith has the Crown, which is also a turn in. The crown turns into the bottle, which turns into the key, which we need to beat the game. The key itself doesn't give us anything useful. Yeah, unfortunately, Fry Teeth having to reset out. It's going to have to go get that left flute out again. Uh, three shots of Confuse, none of them took. Okay, but Fry Teeth is still in the lead. Can take another shot at that. Um while Dead Pulse is still here trying to get, you know, some, some progress towards that level 40. Yeah, so at this point we are sitting at level... F Dead Pulse needs level 40, needs to get the rest of the required items. Fry Teeth need, needs to pull the last required item out of here and can light up that last square, and then we can get a look at Topher. Now, I, I like Fry Teeth here because when you know where the grind's at, you you might have be worried. I think both runners are absolutely just terrified they're behind. You've got to be probably just a little freaking out a little bit inside here. 
And it's like, okay, I'm going to get this tile. I'm going right into Topher. I'm going for broke. If it doesn't th work, then I can just grind it out because that means my opponent has to get through this Topher too. Yeah, well, look, if you're Deadpools, you know that all Fry Teeth has to do is confuse Gary. You don't know where he's at in terms of levels, but if he's got all those other things done, he's probably doing okay. If you're Fry Teeth, you're looking at Deadpool's tiles. All Deadpool's needs to do is hit level 40. And you're thinking, well, I know that there's worms out there. Now, Fry Teeth doesn't know that Deadpool also has some progression to do before he picks up the key. So they're both, yeah, they're both just got to be thinking like, oh no, like I'm, I'm behind. I'm going to lose. Yeah, it's definitely got to be concerning. Yeah, the, the one thing that Fry Teeth does not want to see, as Demon Frog says in chat, does not want to see that level 40 tile light up. Um, so here we go. We're going to get some see some more confused attempts at Frighty screen. And Dead Pulse is going to take on Tiamat again. Let's keep our fingers crossed for Dead Pulse. Yeah, let's hope we can get through there before all of those nasty Fiend Elemental spells come whipping out. Yeah, uh, Chanigan... Uh, Shedding a tear for War Mech. We did run past uh, patrolling War Mech in the maze, but Dead Pulse not wanting to take a chance at uh, uh, low to mid level War Mech. Just wants to get out of here with the item. All right, still trying these confuses. It took! Okay, second time the charm for Fry Teeth lights up that last tile, now has to survive. Now, it doesn't actually really matter. Um, even if he wipes on the fight, the tile stays lit and you're back on the overworld. So it's not that big of a deal. As Fry Teeth gets it done, Dead Pulse is down to the last couple of swings here, gets it done with that Mazamine. Wow, that was close. Yeah, had to endure all three of those nasty spells. I mean, Tia 1 just come loaded for bear. Blizzard, yeah, Blizzard, Inferno, Thunder, right in a row, just, oof. Yeah, it's the three element party pack. Um, Dead Pulse is definitely happy to have that done. Still has to hit level 40, still has to turn in a couple of items. Fry Teeth, on the other hand, has both lines lit up, has all the items, maybe picks up some more levels. And maybe just go straight in. We see him equipping some armor. Yep, getting some of that armor whipped around here. Now, the good news is that uh, we can equip all this. Not only are we ninjas, but the thieves themselves had fighter armor on, so they can equip pretty much everything short of the Opal and Dragon at this point. Yeah, and, you know, neither runner really took too much time to open the boxes. I mean, they don't have a lot of stuff in their inventory. Um... Fry Teeth is in Topher at one hour and one minute and forty two seconds. Yeah, but What's I mean, you got have? a black belt. You don't need armor. You don't need items. You've got a black belt. Yeah, that's true. Where we're going, we don't need armor. So, going to be interesting though. I can't recall if we have life. I think I remember seeing that life two was was not going to be Red Wizard learnable. So, like you said, it's going to be on the shoulders of that big, beefy black belt. And we do have a pretty strong ninja backing him up. Yeah, uh, we've got we got two-man melee going on. Uh, yeah, Life 2 was, I believe, in a locked-out slot at level 3 here. So I don't think we're going to have... It, wh whoever makes it st uh, goes down, stays down, pretty much. Okay, Dead Pulse about to jump into the volcano. Gonna find his loot down here. So a loot and a grind away from being able to dive right in a toe for behind Fry T. So this is interesting. Fry T does have the lead here, but the caveat is with the Dead Pulse's last required square here, or well, last square to light up being the level 40, if this Topher is nasty in any way, shape, or form, and Dead Pulse is already on that grind, Dead Pulse may swing this advantage back into his favor. Yeah, for sure. And, well, given how this seed has gone so far, yeah, I think we're going to see something nasty. I mean, it's basically throwing just about everything else at us, so why not a gatekeeping Kraken while we're at it? Nah, come on. Double nuke Cure 4 on Chaos. Alright, so... I said this before, 
or I know I didn't say this before. I was thinking about saying this and then we got got into it talking and, and I never got around to saying it. I was thinking we were gonna see simultaneous chaos fights before this was over. I am gonna stick by that prediction. Oh, that's absolutely still on the table here. Uh, looks like Frey Teeth, uh, you know, swinging, running, just getting, they're not trying to get away. Uh, speed bump down, then no, mass immune and punching will uh, take care of pretty much any skeleton or is liches in your way. Yeah, look, and Grey Worms uh, taking out one of the non-essential party members. Deadpool's having trouble with rock calls again. Jeez, these these encounters. Just merciless. Poor Deadpool suffering from a terminal case of deja vu, the feeling you've seen this crap before. Yeah, and look what this is doing. It's causing him to go down the rabbit hole. He's gonna he has to do this anyways to get the key, so this is fine. But the key itself is gonna turn into gold and he's gonna realize he's gotta go back to that volcano. Yep. All right, carry two. We're we're swinging, we're swinging. Two light warriors just p absolutely beasting through everything here. Unfortunately, we're down to three that are up. Okay, you know, uh, three juicy little targets for for cracking to play with. Now, uh, chances are pretty good that we're going to see the red mage take a nap here. But as long as the other two survives, even just one of them could be enough to get all the way through the end. If I'm being honest here, I'd really love to see switching Red Mage up to slot 1, put the Ninja in slot 2 because of that Steel Armor. Maybe they can absorb one hit from Kraken and try to protect that Black Belt. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can get down with that. Deadpool's going to check a couple more Grind Tiles here and uh, Astus' Claw. Uh, Gurmadusa's, unfortunately, not for a Black Belt. Uh, if we're two-man grinding with somebody with a spell, specifically, I think, lit three, if I'm not mistaken, on Gurmadusas, uh, that would have been great. Yeah, I think Gurmadusas can sometimes go down to even the level two uh, sweepers, um, but here's two blue Ds in Tober. This might work. Yeah, that absolutely might work. So Kraken, uh, taking a break from punching you, is going to thunder down in the face. Okay, that's good for Fry Teeth, though, because especially with Okay, look at that. It goes down to a measly little Ice 3, so that Kraken was just as weak as they come. And Fryteeth is through with a healer. Starting to look pretty good for Fryteeth. Yeah, this is looking like a... This is looking really good. Uh, just gotta get through Tia and then see what the Chaos has in store. Alright, Tia 2, here we go. We're gonna Ice 3, we're gonna swing, we're gonna swing. Or Lit 3, rather. Low damage off the Lit 3. Pretty hard punch from Tia 2. Uh, we hit hard as well, though. All right, we're just going to hold A at this point. One damage. 300 and some. Red Mage on the floor. 195, not what you want to see. But 561 and a Terminator will do it. Yeah, and here we are. We're down to melee strats, just like you said. And uh, we're down to chaos. Dead Pulse, on the other hand, is... Getting the grind done is going to hit level 40, but still doesn't have the loot. So even if Fry Teeth does experience adversity here, it's going to be very difficult for Deadpool to make up this time. Yeah, unfortunately having to dive all the way down through and get all the way down a Volcano to get the loot and then get out. And with Deadpool's unfortunate luck so far, has to get through the rock goals still too, or at least away from them. Yeah, of course, at that point, um, he'll have the Black Belt leveled up, so it won't be a problem. But here we go. Uh, about a thousand damage on Chaos, it looks like, already. So we're doing some pretty respectable damage. 161 from the Ninja, and it looks like 93. So maybe that was 100 before, and Chaos is coming out with Nuclears. So actually, we're not doing a lot of damage. We did get 305 there with the critical. 521, that's what you want to see. Chaos hitting hard, though, and uh, the Black Belt's in danger of going down. So the Black Belt throws out a hit for 250. Chaos has got to be a little over 50% health gone, I would think, at this point. Uh, coming up with the Blaze there, that's will do it for the Black Belt. It's all coming down to this. We've got the Ninja swinging the sword, and Chaos takes a swing, and Fry Teeth goes down. So it is not yet over for Dead Pulse. 
Yeah, that is. So, we got some spells on Chaos. He actually hits pretty well hard. He actually hits pretty hard. He was doing about 250 to that uh, Steel Armored Ninja. So, not the absolute pushover that you want to see. Fry Teeth is going to go back to the, to the blue stakes. Yes, wow. I am just glued to the screen right now. Dead Pulse is back in Volcano. Is going to pick up the loot. Doesn't have level 40 yet, but does know where to get it. And Fry Teeth is doing that overworld grind. So who is going to be back into Tover first? My money's on Fry Teeth, but we don't know. Yeah, this is going to... This is going to be close. Uh, Fry Teeth... I'm not sure. With the levels you've got, you know where the worms are. Uh, I mean, I know getting out could be a pain, but it's so much faster. Especially putting up, you know, with four man right now. Yeah, 5k a pop. That is going to take a while to go, even from... From level, uh, you know, 38 to 40, if you're only getting 5,000 in a shot, that takes a while. Now, consideration here. Would you agree that the Red Mage isn't doing much? Our Red Wizard's kind of a, a lackluster. Well, um, he's got heal 3, but yeah, no. I mean, the, the passive defense that you get from the high-level Black Belt... The thing is, we did promote, and so we're not getting that MDef. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If it was me, I would be prioritizing my my two melee casters. Yeah. Here's my point. Do you consider, if you find a tavern for a white mage, dumping the red mage for a white mage and going and get life two for that backup? That's some next level thinking. I have to be honest, the thought had not even crossed my mind, and that goes back to the utility of the tavern that I do believe has been underutilized this tournament. Yeah, that's a valid strategy. Why not? You might, you'd might you get Fade of the Bargain, too, if you don't have it already. Yeah, it would just give you that extra bit of oomph to, you know, back you up. Because Fry Teeth went down there, had two Living Light Warriors. With four Living Light Warriors and four extra targets to take, or two extra targets to take punches there, Fry Teeth probably gets through. To be honest with you, if Fright Teeth's last hit's not seven damage, Fright Teeth might get through. Okay, I'm, you're making great points. I just have to just take a step back and go, wow. Dead Pulse just entered Topher. He doesn't have level 40 yet. He's going to hit it here in Topher and try to get this done in one go. Now, we've seen what's in store for Dead Pulse. Do you think he's got enough to beat that Chaos? Um, I think it's going to be close. Um depending on how many light warriors are still up when we get through to when we get through Kraken because T is nasty a little bit and chaos will, can absolutely wreck your day. Now one thing that Dead Pulse has going for him is that he did not promote. So his black belt is still going to be reaping the full benefits of all the MDEF that uh, comes from being a level 40 plus black belt. Nope, zombie Ds are some nice experience. Yeah, Dead Pulse is going to take a second to munch on that. Fry Teeth uh, branching out, uh, deciding that uh, steak is not the only thing that uh, he wants on his menu, and taking out some Ankylos. That may just be to get the other Light Warriors down quicker, though, as Ankylos hit awfully hard. Yeah, a little bit of Turtle Bisque on the side, but it bites back. Yep. Now, Chanigan is pointing out that Dead Pulse has a Black Mage with Fast. That's another huge ace in the hole for Dead Pulse. Yeah. Uh, slimes. Slimes also have Fast. Yeah, that's just a bit of a time waster. Uh, Fry Teeth still going for Blue Steak. Wow. And, I mean, who would have called this just a few minutes ago when Fry Teeth was blasting past Crack and blasting past TMI? You know, yeah, who did you think that he would have wiped to chaos and that Dead Pulse would be back here? This is so riveting. And Dead Pulse is, has probably got the tools to make this happen. 
it all comes down. Uh, retro gaming and chat. So our toe first starts off pretty simple. Uh, Lich, even all the way through Kraken. Kraken likes casting spells this time. Not a lot of punching. We're pretty good there. Uh, we have a decently hard hitting and I believe nuclear sitting on Tia too. And then Chaos hits hard, has an, has a couple of spells to back it up. A Fry Teeth did not have a lot of Light Warriors left up, just the two melee, and couldn't quite hold A through it. So we haven't seen what's deep in the Chaos's list, but it has been enough to cause some more trip ups. Okay, and look at this. Fry Teeth, the first one to light that terrible tile. But Deadpool's right behind. Maybe Fred had forgotten. Maybe already had it and had forgotten to light it up. So they've both got that lit now. They, 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 and they both have to be thinking, okay, my opponent's in Dover. Is he ahead of me or behind? Yeah, Dead Pulse kind of freezing there for a minute, both to make sure we get that tile, ch they like get that checked and go, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, and Classic Gamer 76 pointing out that Fry Teeth is doing a fair bit of grinding. The reasoning for that may have been because Dead Pulse's style wasn't lit up. So he was thinking, okay, well, I've got some time. Let's just make sure that we get here. But, but didn't maybe didn't consider what I also didn't consider, which was that Dead Pulse could hit that while in Dover. That's really sneaky. Yeah. Um, Fry Teeth might have been gaming the system, says, okay, I'm going to grind until I see Dead Pulse light that tile. As soon as I see that tile light up, I'm going back in because I think that I'm better off overall where I can race Dead Pulse down. Yeah, and here we are. They're both in Topher. If Ted Pulse has the same problem on Chaos, then the lead's going to swing back the other way, and you're going to have Fry Teeth with two high-level characters versus Dead Pulse, who's just got the one big black belt. So although Ted Pulse does have some pretty good tools, nobody's calling this over yet. We're going to have to watch this one all the way through to the end. Yeah, uh, Dead Pulse definitely has the advantage here, but if Dead Pulse wipes, I don't think Fry Teeth falls again. I think that, that Dead Pulse is, this is probably the do or die run. So either Dead Pulse gets through here or Fry Teeth's going to just clean up right behind him. Yeah, and look at this, Wiz Sahag's trying to slow things down with some Stone Poison and some Trance. Actually lands some Stone Poison on a few of those characters and they're stunned as well. It's gonna be down to the Black Belt to try and run away from this pack of five. This is a definite time waster. Yeah, this this might be it. It wasn't cracking all along. It's been the it's been the Wizza Hags. But we got through and we actually had the soft potions. Yeah, I, I don't know how many times it's been said, but the real final boss of this game is on the sea the sea floor and it's not cracking, it's the trash encounters. Absolutely. Thankfully Deadpool's having the uh the 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 foresight to at least hit that up button in the shop once and buy about a dozen uh, softs just in case. Yeah, that's something that can get overlooked. Uh, softs are often expensive early on. It's an easy thing to just, yeah, you know, I, I can't spare the money right now and then sort of forget about it. Uh, but Dead Pulse here is through to Tiamat and it does take Tiamat down quickly. We knew Tiamat didn't have too much going on for him. Has a couple characters left, uh, pretty good position, probably a fast cast waiting in the hole there for Chaos. Yeah, uh, thankfully got that, we, we were three HP away from being down to two man. I'm um, two man, I think I would have been worried, but with three man, I think we have enough to get through this. Yeah, I think we're going to see those other two characters take a nap and it'll be all down to the black belt. If it's fasted, that shouldn't be a problem. Doesn't put the black belt all the way down at the bottom though. Wants to make sure he gets that fast cast, I guess. Oh, that was like 1,200 damage, it looked like. No, only 122. Oh. Uh, fast, and we've got 400. Okay, so let's see where we can get through that. About 3-7. Ooh, Chaos is putting up a fight. Fry Teeth coming up back up to Kraken 2 again. Oh, it's one light wearing a dream. But we get there with a thousand damage from the black belt. Wow, look at that. Dead pulse. In the face of so much adversity, 
coming from behind, getting into Topher, getting the job done, and finishing one of the most difficult seeds, maybe the most difficult double anti Vigo seed I've ever watched. Yeah, this has been an absolute... It's been a marathon. This was not a... I mean, for a double anti-bingo, an hour 18 for a finish is not fast. It is a little on the slow side, actually. Yeah, so we're going to invite Dead Pulse into the booth for post-race interview. So I, I, I absolutely can't fault Fry Teeth here, especially like we were kind of, you know, trying to get in to his head and think about that a little bit of extra grinding there at the end. I really think that if Dead Pulse had lit that tile outside of Topher, Fry Teeth still absolutely had this. Yeah, and we're joined in the booth by Dead Pulse now. Dead Pulse, um, wow, what a challenging seed. How do you feel having pulled off the win? I legitimately hurt all over. I believe it. We watched you time and time again going into places like Ice Cave and wiping to Stone Poison, going into the volcano and wiping to Rock Holes, not once but twice, I think. Uh, just this seed had trouble written all over it everywhere as Fry Teeth perishes to chaos again. Fr did you know the Fry Teeth got into to Topher before you did? I did not. I had a feeling. He must have uh, he must have got tripped up by something in there. Well, chaos. Uh, I mean, he was flying. He he had no problem with anything. Got all the way down to chaos, and you know was I think pretty close. He was doing damage with. Uh, he's got a strong black belt and also a Maza wielding thief that's pretty high level too. And uh, just you know, chaos out damaged him. He fell. He went back and he ground blue stakes to get back up to levels. And we didn't think that he'd fall again. Uh, but it looks like he ran into some trouble with Chaos. I didn't see exactly what happened there. So way back, we were talking about the Black Belt's magic defense and the fact that Fry Teeth promoted about, right at about 31. And sure enough, Chaos got a crack through. That's just awful. I'll tell you, I, I based on how I played, I don't think I had any business winning this match. Well, if it makes you feel any better, you weren't the only one wiping. I mean, the, it looked like lead changes all the way through the seed. Early on, I would say that you had, you know, maybe a 15 second lead on Fry Teeth until you both left the inner sea um, and made some different decisions. At that point, it started to branch a little bit, but we kept coming back to the bingo board and the progression. Um, one of you got some early levels on... I want to say Nightmares and Badman. I think that was you, wasn't it, Dead Pulse? Yeah, I took my party up to 15 uh, just to give me a little something because maybe I could, you know, survive Ice Cave or Volcano or literally the 15 times I wiped. Yeah, well, and that was, you know, from, from our perspective, that was a good call because it took a while for either of you to find any good trap tiles and by the time you did it was the high high level worm grind that you wouldn't be able to do without some levels anyways yeah uh that again it was just both of you absolutely you know persevering through the everything that he threw at you you know none of the enemies were playing nicely there were wipes out of multiple dungeons on both sides um one of the biggest one of the biggest problems in this seat overall for either runner is definitely for poor Fry Teeth and the fact that Confuse rolled level eight. That was that was my hope going in because it was either going to be you know if Cake rolls high I'm at a disadvantage or if Confuse rolls up then Fry Teeth is at the disadvantage. Um, I got that, but still, I mean, what do you have the first time that he entered Topher? Because I think mine was around the one twelve mark. Uh, one oh one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was something. It was something like that. I was gonna say 102. I, he did get all the way to chaos before I think before you even went in, Dead Pulse. And then that, it, what? Where the time he lost was deciding to do the blue stake overworld grind before he went back in. Yeah, the only, if you notice, I had trouble getting the key, which was I had to go into sky, which I wiped out of, and then I had to get uh, in volcano the loot, yeah. oh, the loot out of there. But I wiped twice going out of there. 
Yeah, we, so we, I hoped when I saw Fry Teeth finish up the board, I'm like, okay, I know he's got the loot, but maybe he doesn't know where the key is. Maybe he still has a couple places to check. Yeah, no, by the time you were looking for that loot, he had already been in there. Um, we saw you we saw you wipe out a volcano and, and fly away from the loot. And we were just thinking, no, like he's going to find out eventually. But uh, No, I knew the loot was there. There was a uh, NPC that, that said okay. it was there. So I knew I had to go back. I just... I was trying not to tilt, and I was waiting for Fry Teeth to finish so I could forfeit. Yeah, well, I have to say, at that point, I, I thought the race was over. You know, he was so far ahead, and he had those high-level um, characters that, that that it looked like it was just a formality at that point. But Topher's going to Topher. That's what happens in this game. The last thing I will say is I knew that I was really behind, so I intentionally got up to level 39, waited until I was pretty deep into Topher, and then got my level 40 oh, in the hopes that if uh, Fry Teeth decided or had trouble and he was grinding, then he wouldn't like go in. He would be, you know, six floors later than me. Yeah, I that wanted is... to ask you about that because that was super crafty. We saw you do that and we wondered if it was intentional and I believe that it may have won you the game because Fry Teeth was doing a blue stake grind at that point and as soon as that tile lit up, he headed back to Topher. And those Topher bosses and that water floor, that was no joke, I'll tell you what. Yeah, that water floor, uh, again, heads up play, actually having all those softs with three stone light warriors. But yeah, I, I, the the whole leveling, hitting 40 in Topher was a, actually a master stroke here because Fry Teeth was still doing that overworld grind and as soon as you lit that tile after he lit that tile, he immediately airshipped and went back. So you had the three and a half, four floor lead on him going in. You were two fiends ahead the entire time. And Fry Teeth has finally punched through this chaos. Yeah, get your GGs out in chat for Fry Teeth. Uh, we're going to invite Fry Teeth over here. Got to get a port post mortem from Fry Teeth as well. Actually, it sounds like he's already here. Fry Teeth, good game and well run, sir. Um, uh, where to begin with the seed of terror that that seed was? When did you first start to feel like things were going off the rails? Um, to be honest, I, I really didn't. Um, I mean, I, I made some mistakes, but most of you know most of what went wrong, other than you know not getting carry until the eighth confuse. Um, most of my mistakes were self-inflicted, um, but I'm guessing that first trip down into Topher, I think it was what around an hour five, I reached chaos. I couldn't have been more than a hundred HP from taking him down. Yeah, it was it was even better than that. We think that you were hour one and hour two in that first Topher dive, and you did get all the way to chaos before Deadpool was even thinking about getting in into Dover at all. And I was still we, wiping in places. We thought, yeah, Deadpool was wiping a volcano and, and looking for for items. I mean, we thought that you had it in the bag, and you did definitely have chaos on the ropes. But um, he he got you that time, and he even got you again when you came back. What happened the second time? Yeah, I no idea. I just couldn't do much damage, enough damage that second time. You know, I I decided to go level up after the the first death because I felt like uh, I had gotten very lucky to have gotten down that far at my levels. So I didn't think I was going to make it down again. But yeah, I didn't didn't think I'd take the death the second time. Yeah, well, we we are surprised as you are, uh, but. You know, uh, and and I mean, you're you're saying that you didn't really feel like that you you were off the that things had gone off the rails, and I have to say that as a spectator, I mean, I I was just watching you both take wipes in places and and having to backtrack, and I was thinking, man, this seat has not been kind. Well, congrats to both of you for keeping your head level um, in the face of a challenge, and uh, when the stakes are a bit high too. I mean, we're deep into the the double anti bingo tournament. Do you feel good about um, your level of performance in this tournament, Fry Teeth? Ah, uh, yeah, I, yeah. It's been, you know, been very successful and not quite over yet. No, it definitely isn't. Of course, these are the semifinals, so um, Dead Pulse will go on to the finals. Uh, we don't know who his opponent is yet. I don't think because Greg Lipoff was still waiting for an opponent last I checked, although there was another match going on simultaneously to this one. Do you know an update for that, uh, Demon? 
Uh, well, we do have one other match that was going on at the exact same time as this. We're not going to spoil anything for you here in chat, just in case you want to catch the VOD of that later. But the the winner of the match between Lord Fizzlebeef and Gregory Puff will now be going up against Fry Teeth, and the winner of that match will be facing Dead Pulse yet again in the grand finals in the best of three. Oh, my mistake. So I thought that Fry Teeth would have been knocked out at this point, but we still have another chance to see these two go ahead in the finals. Wow, what a story. We've already decided it's going to be a very fade to Brack final, so. That's the goal. And quite honestly, I think uh, Fry Teeth matches up better against either Lord Fiddlebeef or, or Greg Leepoff. I think he has the best chance to, to actually make it back to the finals. Okay, well, uh, you know, spoken, spoken uh, like a true teammate. And uh, that is, of course, a reference to the co-op league uh, that we have going on. Uh, Dead Pulse and Fry Teeth are uh, teammates uh, in Team Fade to Brack and uh, have done well there as well. So, yeah, I think, um, we, well, we've talked to both of you, and uh, there's there's still more tournament ahead to be played, so maybe we should start um, giving shout-outs and wrap-ups. Uh, Demon, um, do you want to you take us away, or should we do some final thoughts first from, uh, we'll start with you, Fry Teeth. How about some final thoughts? Um, yeah, just a GG to Dead Pulse. Um, tough seed, but, you know, I'm going to give it my best and try and meet you back here in a few days. Okay, right on, right on. So, um, Dead Pulse, uh, final thoughts from yourself. Uh, so, damn hype, Fry Teeth, GG, always a pleasure. Um, I feel I feel really bad because I don't I don't feel like I had any business winning this. You had you had me by fifteen minutes, and you got some bad luck on uh, on Chaos. Like when you watch this back, you're going to be <laughs> a little bit upset. But uh, you know, still GGs. Uh, thank you to uh, everybody behind the scenes. Okay, well, speaking about that, I think it's about time for our shout-outs and wrap-ups. So, Demon, I'll hand it uh, to you to take us away. Oh, absolutely. Again, everybody, thank you very much for joining us. It's been a great presentation here of our uh, winter double anti-bingo tournament. Again, big shout-outs to both of our runners, Dead Pulse and Fry Teeth. Make sure to give them both a follow, as well as my co-commentator here, RockSolid84. We've got Chan again on tracking. We've got Demon Frog on restream. Give them both follows as well. And a huge shout-out here to RPG Limit Break for uh, hosting us on their amazing channel so that we can bring you all of this great Final Fantasy randomizer action as a community. Uh, please keep an eye out on the schedules. Uh, we've got going to have more double anti-bingo coming up. We've got the finals coming up for the losers bracket and then we got the grand finals coming up after that which will be a best of three so yes a best of three we could have three more games between these two amazing runners uh also in addition if you are interested in final fantasy uh please feel free to stop by the discord absolutely we always love the new people we even have signups still open for our spring tournament coming up you have until april 2nd get in there regardless of experience sign up it's a great time across the board please come join us we would love to have you so once again, I am Demon RHK, speaking for myself and Rock Solid and everybody here in the Final Fantasy Randomizer community. Thank you all very much for joining us this evening, and take care.